Hello everyone, my name is Ronak and you're watching VectorWart. So in today's video, we'll take a look on how to use ChatGPT's OpenAI API in .NET. And also we will learn how to use ChatGPT to our advantage to generate code and uh, try it in Visual Studio in .NET. So without any further ado, let's get started. For those who haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. It means a lot. The OpenAI API provides a simple interface for developers to create an intelligent layer in their applications powered by OpenAI state-of-art models. The chat uh, completion endpoint powers uh, chat GPT and provides a simple way to take text as inputs and use a model like GPT-4 to generate an output. So uh, here on the screen, you see we have chat GPT uh, open uh, and it is a prompt that we need to provide. So let's uh, try and provide a prompt. Before that, you will have to log in with your credentials uh, using a Google account or any other email account. And here uh, I will going to type in uh, the prompt. And so uh, here I have my prompt uh, where, where I will be typing uh, chat GPT for .NET developers. So it gives me uh, how we can obtain the API access, how uh, we can do the API integration about the aut authentication and rules. And here is the sample code that it talks about. So uh, let me uh, ask it differently. So can you give me detailed code examples? using open API. So here you can see uh, it has provided us the sample code uh, which talks about uh, how to use the uh, how to set up the api key and what is the prompt and um, what this call will return us where we pass the prompt and the api key and this is the get completion uh, function where it requests the uh, prompt and gets a json response so um, hope you all uh, understood what uh, we can do using chat gpt so now uh, we'll talk about the uh, open api um, so we can go to google and here you can search for open ai api and you can click on the second link which has this uh, url platform.openai.com open this up and here you will see some basic uh, kickstart tutorials and the one that we are interested in is uh, the api key so let me go there and here I have already generated a key for me, uh, but uh, you can create a new key here by clicking on this. If you are a new, then you will have a fresh start by uh, for to create a new key. But uh, if you can create as much as keys you want, but uh, you can only use up to five dollars in the free tier. Uh, but if you want to make more requests and uh, get responses then you will have to pay for it so right now i am in the free tier so i have five dollars of limit and i have used 0 0.01 uh, dollar worth of uh, uh, usage so uh, let me go back so here is the api key uh, which i will be using so let me go uh, to visual studio now and let's create a new project let me select avalonia .NET app and let's click on next. Let's give this project a name, Avalonia GPT. Click on next. Let's click on create. I already have some sample code uh, which I had generated from chat GPT uh, here on the screen. I will uh, copy it and uh, go through it uh, one by one. So let me copy this. Meanwhile, so uh, we have our uh, Avalonia project ready. So here uh, you do not see the uh, window yet. And for those who are uh, wondering how you can get a designer uh, like I have, uh, you will have to go to extensions, manage extensions and uh, download the Avalonia extension, which I have here, Avalonia for Visual Studio. And this will enable the uh, designer so please do check out my previous video where I have uh, talked about this. I will leave a link in the description. So uh, before we start, um, 
yeah so here uh, we have our welcome text let me remove it and instead i will add my grid over here and build this once so that we can see our designer and i will explain uh, what i have added here on the screen so while it is loading uh, let's go to this uh, playground where you have several other options uh, for fine tuning and uh, using your api keys you can also uh, see uh, uh, the storage options and the usage which i talked about there is a lot of documentation here which will help you um, uh, help you on how you can use this uh, api uh, to your best advantage so it has all these models capabilities text generation functional conning fine tuning image generation vision text to speech and so on so you can make uh, use of it it also gives you uh, the examples on how you can uh, use this api um, for now i will create a simple uh, um, prompt uh, based uh, request and response using this api that i have so uh, here uh, let me build it once again uh, to see the designer before that uh, i completely forgot uh, you will have to go to tools then uh, go to nuget package manager and manage nuget packages here you can go to browse and search for open open ai you can select the first one and select your project and install apply and accept Okay, uh, so it looks like um, it is installed. Yes, so let me close this and uh, let's also copy the uh, code behind. So let me go back to my code here and go to the code behind and copy this code from here and paste it here. Once this is done, uh, so we have our open AI API call, um, class and we have instantiated it here. So also one thing remaining is uh, to look at the error so it says uh, the button click is not available uh, so let me build it again so i think i have added it now and uh, yeah so let me build and see if we have any any other errors okay so now you can see our uh, designer has loaded and uh, it is a simple design where I have a grid and inside the grid we have two row definitions um, and then we have a list box which uh, will show you the chat history and then we have a text box which takes the user input basically the prompt message and then we have a button that will uh, send the prompt um, or be, which will basically call this uh, button send uh, function which uh, connects with the API sends the request and gets the response so here if you go to the code behind uh, we have the uh, API object and here we are instantiating it here in this you will have to pass the API key your API key your unique API key that should be passed here and then you have the button send uh, which will trigger this uh, task uh, asynchronous task which will uh, check uh, if the user input is null or empty and then it will add the item first whatever you have typed in the prompt to the list and then uh, it creates this uh, create conversation function call of the api uh, it creates this object and then it specifies what model you have to use and i am using chat gpt turbo model and then uh, request parameters uh, you specify the temperature so this temperature is basically what sampling temperature to use uh, the higher value means that the model will take uh, more risks so i have specified it as zero and uh, we have created this chat object now and using this ch chat object we'll ask the questions so to ask the questions we use append user input and this user input is basically the user input that we have first added to the first we have typed as a prompt and added to the list and the same thing we are going to pass to the uh, chat object and and then finally we get the response um, from the chatbot async uh, uh, method of the chat object and as a response uh, we get the data in the response object and finally we add that response in the uh, list item so here uh, the, after that i am simply uh, clearing the prompt so the add list box uh, method that i have created i have just created it uh, to create a new list box item every time 
create add a margin of uh, 10 add a thick minimum height of 30 and also finally add the content of the item to the user input that we got uh, basically what we typed or what the response we got we just have to add it to the item and then finally add that item to our uh, list box so here we have our list box chat history and this is the user input and this is the button set so now if i run this application So now uh, our application is loaded and you will see our simple um, application which connects with chat GPT's uh, AI models and gives us a response for our prompts that we type. So let me just type hello and let's click on send and see what data we get. So here it says hello, how can I assist you today? Add to plus Let's see what we get. So it says two plus two equal to four. Let's ask some other question. Give me a hello world program in C sharp. Let's see what it replies. So here. So here is the response. So hope uh, you liked uh, watching this video. This is a simple demonstration of how you can use ChatGPT in your daily programming activities or how you can include your uh, ChatGPT's OpenAI API in your .NET applications. So hope you like watching this video. Till then, bye-bye.